ever burn. Right? I think so, yeah. Okay. Wait, are there... Uh, does the different things tell us, like, quests we have to do? I can't remember what the different things showed us. Which different things? The uh, upper left, yeah. Yeah, this is quests. Alright, so, planes, planes! Sure. There are many planes. They searched for a wandering champion. Perhaps they're new... Mirth was interrupted by the sound of a stampede. A herd of deer moved quickly through the grass, escaping for their lives. Behind the herd was a green... This has got an adorable fox mount! <laughs> Uh, it's a wolf. There's a green creature riding on a wolf. The mount snapped at the deer hungrily. The encouragement of the cackling rider. Several unmounted goblins desperately tried to keep up. That's interesting. Can we kill it? That must be the wandering champion. He is a goblin, so it fits. Jesus fuck. And let's make this quick. Ren slid out both her, both her swords and braced herself. She let out a war cry, attracting the attention of the goblins. The deer pounded away in relief as the goblins took the bait. The mounted goblin charged right for Loren before noticing the other party members. When he did, he slowed down just enough for his minions to catch up. She didn't give them a chance to retreat. Boss fight! Goblin champion! Review your party setup. Alright. Uh, yeah. Alright, so, Amukiki. Yeah, Loren's back in our mandatory crew. Yeah, and Kiki stand in the middle. And be good when you do. Uh, Kambara. And... And Mirth, usually. Yeah, Mirth is our other back row. Alright, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa. Well, that was, that was a rough start. Okay. Um... Uh, oh, they but have two. we then we all go. So it's yeah. Fun. Then we have two. They have two wizards. So I think we go for the entangle first. Uh, slow everybody down. Yep. Yep. Slow, 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 slow. Oh, that almost that everybody. Pretty well. So what? Oh, Kambara, Draco. Kambara needs to go to the back row. Yeah, we we'll switch her with Loren. Yeah. Draco. Uh, Draco. We need to kill these wizards. What do we got? They're weak against water, yes. Um, so, that's a guaranteed kill, but it doesn't damage the front row. That's a huge amount of damage. But, but it probably not a kill. kill. I would go with guaranteed kill. Because, yeah, that wipes out two of them. All of their wizards are down. Uh, Saren. Heal, heal her. her? Or him, right? Heal, yeah, heal yourself, because we can pick her back up if you're alive. That's true. No, uh, give him the big. No. Uh, let's get that shield wall up. That's not the shield. Fucking every time. Um, her magic is row based, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, her powerful stuff is only. All right. So. Yeah, that's that's the one. Oh, well, there goes Loren, and Amokiki is almost down. Yeah. Alright, so now Amokiki can do Super Shield. Yeah. Well, yeah, there you yeah, good he thing. Goes. Let's uh, pick Loren back up, or? Um, Amokiki, maybe? Sure. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Yeah, he's, he's fine. Uh, Alright, so now we kill all these guys. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and now. Uh, we stick them. Yep. Yeah. And it's done. Yay! Yeah. And we get all our peeps back anyway. Yeah, because it was a one fight thing. Crossbow Rain. I think we've got a couple of these already. Alright. For a game that loves leveling and XP, it doesn't really like loot. No. Well, shit, that was a champion, alright. Oh, we need its essence. Roma squid. Good milk it. It's, it's hot. We need its heart. What? I'm not taking any chances. We take its black heart with us. Saren. <laughs> Just go oh, calm out his heart, please. Just get it. He's a, he's a steak knife. Sarah nodded and prepared his short knife. It's done, ma'am. Ma'am? Ma'am? What is? What, what <clears throat> did he start calling her ma'am? Let's hurry before time runs out on my people. All right. So now we, I assume, have to go like back to the hut. I guess so. Oh, we're back. Good. The book is on table. No. No. Uh, we'll do the thing. 
Okay, so we just have the conversation. It's just it didn't show up in our quest view. That was, that was... well. There's the unforgiving swamps. So you go back to quest view. The unforgiving swamps is not Kambara's hut. Yeah, that's true. Because I was thinking this tomb that we I don't think I've ever been to. But random encounter. Skip it. Yeah. Okay. No, we're just, we're just hunting. Oh, okay. Leave. Alright, so maybe that tomb then? An embellished crypt. Yeah, there we, there we are, there we are. Uh, embellished is, that is not how that word works either. Um, in the cliffs of Mount Kronos caught their eye. They knew if they were to find a master of dark magic, it would be among the burials of the fabled Death Knights. Salazar helped them navigate the mountainside and the length of the crypt. He was particularly pleased to be returning to something he was comfortable with. Deep inside, they found three enclosed tombs. Don't put my foot there. Dude! Please don't put your foot there. <laughs> Looks like the three of those guys are housed here. Shouldn't mess with the others, because, you know, the apocalypse. So which tomb is the master? How shouldn't they? Just any old death knight do. We should select the tomb of the evildoer that most resembles whoever cast the dark magic. That makes sense? What? Succubus? Probably a Zara Succubus. My people were tricked. Like that Succubus you mind controlled us. The demon witch's bones should be what we need. Your commander spoke of deceit, not mind control. The tool sounded very much like illusion magic. Oh, it's the goblin. Oh, it is the goblin. Unfolded her arms and reflected on what she, he said. It did not take her long to come to a conclusion. Open the tomb of the goblin knight. So, so, you have a choice, but no choice. But, but thou must. The remains of a long withered goblin shaman was was uncovered several members coughed from exposure to the disturbed dust and also got a lung infection yeah <laughs> i suppose we take one of his bones saren reached into the tomb not letting on how scared he was of the ancient evil he was about to touch once saren's hand was around a bone he felt a tremor this was not uncommon he let go of the skeleton as if it burned him oh it's goody we get to fight a lich corpse surged with a demonic glow and sat upright. Fred pulled Saren to safety with one arm and got her sword ready with the other. So, we inspect up Kambara such that she doesn't just do dark magic yeah, anymore. Yeah, so we can keep her. Great. Oh my. Uh, Saren? Uh, let's punch that guy, sure. Yeah, I mean, what else, right? Yeah, bring him down to match the other ones. Alright, uh, uh you cry. Yeah. Mirth, make these things unhappy to be. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so, so, slow, slow, slow. Entire front row. Kamara, alright, what are your options here? You've got water damage, dark damage, and fire damage. Alright, so let's start in the back row. And do some water damage. Draco. So let's take some. Let's take a look at some stuff here. Oh, the big uh, lich is weak against air. Tornado him. Um. Yeah. Also weak against air. Draco can tornado. Water. Oh, and air. Yeah, Draco's got a tornado. All right. Yep. That'll. Uh... Oh, you don't use his top. Oh, he's only got level two. Yeah. Actually, but level one's probably better. Yeah, gonna focus level, on one, guy, right? level yeah. one will focus on him, yeah. Yeah. Yay. The Kiki defend. Right, this one. Wall. Yep. Uh, I'm going Kiki hit this guy. Punch, punch that guy in the face. Yay. Saren also make with the punching. Ren, kill something? Can you? No, you can mostly kill this thing. So it's not going to loosen the jar. Yeah. We're just progressively loosening jars. 
until the moment yeah, wait, when, waiting when for one of our there. wizards to get gets to go. Oh no, Lauren can kill that guy. Oh yeah, kill this. All right, Lich. Uh, yep, that'll do it. Yep. I don't understand what just happened. Neither do I. Let's move on. Yeah, I'm... Um, oh, there it is. It just doesn't make any sense. Oh. Yeah, that's super weird. Well, whatever. Um, hey, you killed something, buddy. Good job. Alright. Yep, that seems like it'll get that job done. Yep. Um, we have an AoE heal, don't we? We do. Yeah, all allies in a row for 40%. That actually seems pretty decent. Just in case, you know? Yep. Ooh. Lich Lord Helm. We're just gonna pop that right on Amokiki's head. Uh, so. probably, yeah. Uh, 11 defense. How can the dead continue to rise? Because these dead are champions of death, and the Underrealm is but a vacation. Perhaps this knight was merely waiting for a reason to return. Or for us to open up its prison cell. They looked at the heavy stone slab they had pushed out of the way to uncover the tomb. I vote we put everything back exactly the way we found it. Tja. They replaced all the precautions to keep the skeletons sealed away from the world and exited the tomb. All right. So, okay, and Everburn's the last one, right? Yeah. Um, um, but we want to put that there. We want to give Kiki a hat. Yeah, Kiki needs a hat. All right, so your hat currently is a plate helm, defense 13, speed minus 2. It's actually better. All right, it's, yeah, it gets immune to paralyzed. Great. Cool. Congrats on your new hat. Buddy. You're slightly faster. Alright. Everburn. It's only been on the head of a dead lich. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. For centuries. Near mint. <laughs> Barely used. <laughs> oh, new music. Ooh, oh, is there? Uh, th th there's so little audio interaction that I take these off. They were cautious now that they were walking closer to the mountains of literal fire. So, Archwizard, have you made up your mind? Which creature is the demon's friend? I have an idea, but I'm not sure if it is the right answer. We may only tell a loyal creature if we come in contact with it. Let's not waste any more of our breath discussing it. They made an effort to avoid the demons of the land, but attracted the creatures that coexisted among them. It's gotta be hounds, right? Yeah, the waits loyally. A fire dog howled, signaling the whole pack to protect their territory. Even Trouble found these hounds to be most heinous. I guess this isn't your family after all. I told you this was a waste of time. Yep, party yep, setup. Yep, 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 party yep. setup reviewed. Uh, yeah, sure, Saren. Um, spoilers: critically weak to water uh, yeah, right. and resistant to fire. Uh, I'm sure everyone is shocked. Buff. Uh, do we? I don't think we need to. Okay, yeah. <laughs> like, we're we're just gonna ruin these guys' day. Um, water. Yeah. Draco follows that up with more water. Actually, we've got a single row, so. Um. <laughs> Congratulations, Kiki, you killed something. Mookie's like, I am also here. 
more hounds clawed out of their dens and growled to the group. Their teeth were bared as they advanced frighteningly. They're not going away. Amukiki swung his sword at them, but they weren't intimidated. The hounds barked and snapped their sharp teeth. Man's best friend! These are the master's friend? Take a trophy from one of these dead ones and let's be gone. Uh, run, trouble! Saren procured a fang from one of the hounds that they had slain. Before the other hounds attacked, they fled the mountains altogether. Sure. I did not think we would get the ingredients so fast, especially considering I wasn't helping except for the fact that you know, I did I most of the damage. Was there for every fight, did most of the damage. Except for that one time my spell fizzled. Uh, we let us not talk about it. Yes. You weren't helping on purpose? I was going to eventually put this stuff on the table. Saren laid out the bone of the Death Knight, the heart of the Goblin Champion, and the fang of an Inferno Town. I figured out how to read dark magic recipes. Took me a while to learn. Kamara seemed generally impressed with the speed and accuracy of the group's combined knowledge. All right, put these in, give you these sir, is ready. Now do not look directly into potion. This is very bad. Ooh, I like the lighting. Lauren sat on the edge of her seat, impatient for the potion to be done. Yeah, he's done. Thank you. Get out. You're still coming with us. <laughs> That's not very much. How are we supposed to treat all of the Amazons with this? Oh no, only fixes like one. Pick one. Pick your favorite. <laughs> Put into water supply or something like that. It's too potent like this anyway. Would cure everything. Might even give you good sense. Would be very bad. Uh, but, but this will work. I'm good at what I do. Of course it will work. We should test it on one person first, just to be safe. Hey, okay, drink it. It's safe for you. No problem. No chance of giving you good sense. <laughs> Being safe would be getting this to all your sick people as soon as possible. You're really going to hold up because you can trust me? Okay, fine. We trust you. Saren, rush this potion back to the Citadel as fast as you can. Tell Breza to do with it what to do with it. We will catch up to you soon. Saren took the potion and ran outside, obeying his queen without question. He escaped the swamps untouched and advanced to air at a great speed from the benefit of traveling alone. He couldn't have made it sooner to the Citadel, and judging by how grateful Brazo was to see him, despite their relationship, he was just in time. They have a... a thing. Uh, I learned the ASL sign for doing it, and it's really is, is that, that... Yeah, it's... Like, does the angle matter, or is that, I, like, I don't, just... I, is it, that, like, accent or... Uh, no, or it's flavor? like, it's like, the angle matters. Right. Um, but it's hard to do... Because I feel like that that's one of the things, like... Yeah. By the time Lorraine and the rest of the group made it to the Citadel, the potion had been administered, and signs of recovery were promising. Hooray! Your Highnesses, I, I don't know how you managed to cure for the plague, but it's subsiding. It should be safe for you and your friends to enter again. Yay! Yay! Level up. Ding! Be stronger, get no skills. Oh! Can he finally get them? No, he didn't get any skills. Oh, damn it. You only get them every other level. Right. But next level, he gets the thing. Uh, will. Draco also will on here. Oh, he does get a skill point, so more Tornado. Yeah, Tornado. Maxed out. Yeah. Nice. Are there any skills in here that are good for him? No. Nope. Spell points, don't care. Regeneration, don't care. Cure, don't care. Threat reduction, don't care. Haste, don't really care that much. Don't care enough to invest yeah, seven no, points yes. in it. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Just that's... blow things up more. Um. Yeah, I guess he was just going up earthquake for yeah. the next one. Yeah. <laughs> why, why would we if do there anything was a, different? If there was a spell damage one, we would take it. Uh. Karen finally getting into shape. Ray. Dora, oh, skill point. Um, we were gonna get Dora the super hail of arrows. Yes. So we're gonna max out our super yep. attack.
Right, we got the other one because it was, it was paralysis. Strength. Uh, I think he's in the thief tree we were going, giving him. Yeah. Yeah. He's we got, got crazy it. backstab. So yeah, give him the next backstab. Hey. Hey. And you just get more magic. Yay. And we're done. All of the Amazons are well. Not not well, your grace. But getting better. They changed their modes of address, eh? Mm, Lorena's now your majesty because she's the queen. And Karen is now your grace because she's the queen mother. Ah. I mean, I choose to believe that, 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 that that's why it happened and because it, and, and that it's smart writing. Um... Because previously, Loren would, Loren would have been your highness. Mm -hmm. uh, it will still take some time for all to fully recover. But what about the war? We need our troops to march on Everburn. It may not be wise to rush their recovery. They can walk and rest. Amazon literally, literally, no. Those, can can those are like opposites. For how long am I to wait? We'll follow you whenever you're, you command, Your Majesty. Loren frowned, knowing that she could not ask the ailing to fight for her so soon. Uh, arrival! Generals from the Empire! Oh, nice. Samael and Ashtray entered the city, uh, citadel and greeted Loren. You're here, looking none the worse for wear. We heard the Amazons gotten sick. Duty date! We can send you our doctors! They're... They're good. I went to the doctor once. More than once. Uh, thank you, General. We, we, we dealt with the problem and we're now recovering. Great, because I've come to announce that that goddamn blasted council's finally gotten off their high horse. High Horus, more specifically. Horus put a lot of pressure on the council. It was my testimony that sealed it. Bub. I'm the best at what I do, and what I do is testify before councils, and so they've allowed me the power to grant someone the role of Supreme Commander for our army. That's fortunate news. You've come to grant Loren her request in person. No, I meant me. Yes, <clears throat> I'm here on behalf of the Empire to allow you the highest authority over my and Astray here's forces. Use us well. Sure. Uh, 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 oh, oh, uh, and the elves? Uh, the, the elven ambassador visited while you were out, Majesties. He, he gave me this. It's a letter that says basically the same thing, uh, only you didn't have to do a bunch of things to prove it. Prisoner retrieved a wand covered in leaves with a jewel on the end, which isn't a letter at all. Is that the scepter of the wild? God, that word's so good. Mirth took the stick and turned it upright, presenting it officially to Loren. That signifies the leader of the protectors of the forest, which means you can throw all elven troops. Well, the others have agreed to grant me the military as well, and I didn't even have to do a bunch of stupid shit for it. I think we did. I think we just <laughs> forgot. We did. We did. That's right. We did. We did some stupid shit. Oh, no. No. That was to get the elves on side. That makes two. You have united the armies. You know what we really need? Uh, we should go back to the mountains and get an army of the dead. Then we would have four armies. Oh, yeah. Four armies. Yeah. I mean, the key word really in Death Knight is knight. Or gripped her scepter firmly. So, we've come to the end of it all. Thank fucking God. Right, if we now, finish this game tonight, I'm going to be celebrating. So happy. <laughs> do I know what we're streaming next? No. Do I care? No. Everyone stood in silence, taking the fact that the greatest battle of their time was very close to reality. Are we prepared to lay siege to the demons? But first, you have to choose your romance option. The, the, the Amazons still need to recover their strength, but they'll march on your orders. 
If there is anything else we need to accomplish before seeking out Frost, we should do it now. Oh, oh yes. Oh. <laughs> this is the end of chapter three. In chapter four, you will not be able to travel the world or use the camp feature. It's highly recommended you finish your business with your party members. All right, let's finish some business. All right, business. You'll have one more chance to purchase items in chapter four, but we, you will not be able to travel to the shops you've seen thus far. Let the Amazons re regain their strength. In the meantime, I'll complete what's left to be done. Yes, Your Grace. I'll be here waiting order, awaiting orders, which means no, they didn't do anything smart. They just changed it up because they didn't know what the, what the different honorifics mean. Uh, yeah. Yeah. To advance to Chapter 4, speak with Brazen in the, Brazen in the Citadel's castle. Alright, so, leave. Camp. Camp. It was a quiet night, against all odds. Only the sound of the campfire could be heard. Blazes drew Saren's attention to the fire, and he noticed that Draco was still awake. The mage was casting fire familiars with a solemn look. A firebird danced before him, and then pecked him at his nose. The familiar disappeared in his soot, and Draco rubbed his nose, still uncharacteristically grave. Can't sleep. Draco was startled and shot up to greet Saren. Oh, uh, hi. How's God duty? Lonely. <laughs> Even though he managed to smile, Saren knew there was something on Draco's mind. What's wrong? You can tell me. He laughed and shuffled his feet. Oh, you could always see right through me. You know, I'm just worried. Saren walked closer to him without even thinking. You're thinking about the battle ahead? Well, no shit. Ah, yes, with Foster Lager. We're strong. We and we have several strong armies. It, it's not... It's, it's not that. I know we're in great shape. <laughs> Look at your abs. <laughs> I can see them. I can, I've been secretly grating cheese on them. <laughs> I'm not talking about, like, soft cheddar or anything. Like, Fucking Parmesan! <laughs> I've been creating Parmesan! It comes out of fine powder. Yeah! It's incredible. But I was creating a rock on his the other day! <laughs> and then he was all like, strange! And like, like, not pumice either! Just no. granite! He shaved just, granite! Just right <laughs> on the abs! Oh dear, oh dear. Let us move on. He's been garnishing his salads with it! I've heard things about wrestling puss. Whatever he has in store for us, we'll beat it. What if, uh, what if we can't? Well, that would suck. Mid eyes with Saren as if we were trying to tell him something. Saren could decode it. He was too struck by the feeling in the pit of his stomach from just looking at Draco like this. He wanted to be strong for everyone, definitely for Loren. But at the end of the day, under the stars and by this campfire, he wanted to be strong for Draco. Woot! Let's be strong for Draco! Nice. And it wasn't enough anymore. Draco was terrified of a future that he was sure was he was he was sure was going to dawn. Nothing is going to happen to us. This is a lie, but I'll say it in a comforting and confident tone. I just noticed that they're flickering the colors on the cloak to show the fire. Uh, yeah. Can you promise that? Uh, you, you, you can't? You don't know. I promise. You can't! Yes, I can. No. Yeah. Saren reached out and grabbed Draco by the shoulders. Let me just promise to you. Jesus. Their throats were dry. As neither said anything. They just stared at each other, face to face. A stray tear escaped from the fireman. Saren's confidence was stolen. Draco. He was so sure that something bad was going to happen. Draco couldn't even muster a smile this time. And he could always smile. Saren told himself that he had to be strong and remain strong, even if the dark cloud of the future was now on him, too. Everything will be okay. I promise. Draco's eyes moved between his. In one move, Saren wiped Draco's cheek dry and slid his hand into that blonde hair. He could feel Draco freeze from the intimate touch, and even Saren himself went turgid, rigid, <laughs> from realizing how long he had wanted to do that. Every forced smile that Draco gave him, every look that masked the pain underneath, Saren had wanted to bring the half-elf crashing toward him and show him that he wasn't alone in the greatest of bro-hugs. 
Saren's fingertips brushed against Draco's pointed ear as he pushed the blonde locks behind it, revealing his lineage. I haven't heard that euphemism before. <laughs> it's... <laughs> I, I believe the official, the, 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 the normal euphemism is, you can tell his religion. <laughs> You should wear your ears like this. Don't wear my ears, they're part of my body. Sarah just takes his ears off. He's like, I'm a Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> he pulled back from the mage's face, feeling his stomach tighten as he did. Draco visibly choked back emotion. Don't hide anymore. Draco gritted his teeth as if trying to hold back even more tears. Couldn't hold back any longer and fled to his tent for solitude. Saren stood in the same spot for a long time. So much doubt had just been cast on it. What did Draco know about the upcoming battle that broke him so completely? When the two had reached the point they cared about, cared so very much about losing one another. What did that mean? Saren couldn't shake Draco's image from his mind all night. That was a really well-written scene. All right. Like pieces of it were were weird, but on the whole. Out of uh, curiosity, I'm gonna leave and go back to camp. And... Fuck <laughs> yeah! Saren stood on the edge of a steep cliff, looking down to the ravine. Since they'd made camp, he'd been drawn to it. Now we're just gonna keep leaving camp and yep, coming yep. back until nothing There's happens. Be a bunch of this. And he stared into his depths and swamped himself with his thoughts. The Grand World Army formed below, and he could see how it spanned for leagues. Which actually is a really impressive distance. Mm, yeah. It was a force he'd never seen before, but then he'd seen very little in his life, except for this entire realm. He hoped to see more before the end, if Everburn truly was the end. In his heart, he felt like it would be. Thank you, fucking Christ. If it came down to it, he would easily sacrifice himself for the good of Erebor. There was no question about it. The dirt was disturbed behind him, and he, looked, he turned dully to see the figure of Amukiki standing not far behind him. Neither said a word to the other, but Saren re returned to look down at the army. He was too late. His thoughts were now about the gladiator. Silently, Amukiki stepped up beside him to share the view. The army is strong. We will win the war. I know. Amukiki faced him. Saren turned slightly in the opposite direction. Other stage directions also happened. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Sorry, with Loren, I am sure of it. Victory is sealed. He continued to stare at him as if he didn't completely believe him. You needn't look like that. He didn't look away. The whole of the world may win, but not one victory is assured of it for any of us. We all have our own individual battles out there, and we will have to face those. Please don't make us fight one-on-one -on -one fights for every fucking character that we've got. What is your battle? Saren focused on the small fingers, the figures assembling below. I want a life that is my own, not anyone else's. Take Ooh, cover. about time. Yeah. I want to be a free man. Nice. We should have been doing this from the beginning. I, like, I'm okay with it taking a little bit of time, but... but it, like, it's like chapter two, we should have been doing this. Yeah. You are free. Uh, not really, but sure. Sure. Is either it is either return to that or death? He refused to say. I have wanted to return to my tribe ever since I was exiled. I wanted to fold when the Ember Blade rejected me, and return a broken man. I was to pledge to serve Princess Loren, end the war, and return to the South. That has all changed. It has changed because now I am truly a free man. Saren looked over and met Amukiki's gaze. How? I have stopped thinking with only my mind. <laughs> stopped thinking with my dick. What? <laughs> he is the Freeman. I, I, I found this crowbar. <laughs> I've been tanking with it for two weeks now and no one has noticed. <laughs> it gave me many rules and obligations. It told me what I must work, uh, what I must do, not what I want to do. I must serve the princess. I must be the sword bearer. I must win tournaments. I must return to my tribe. You didn't want to do any of those things? Kiss me, you fool. 
want was never a factor. I did what I needed to do, but I did not choose them freely. I must not want them. You spoke so highly of your nomad tribe, so I cannot believe you do not want to return to them. That's what all this was about, wasn't it? Every tournament you won, all the honor and glory you tried to claim, you said it was to bring you back home. I don't remember that actually. But yeah, no, he he talked about it. Okay, this is this is we're cir- this is really good. Like we're circling around to stuff we talked about in the early bits of the game. All right, like it's like the people who write this understand narrative. Yeah, I'm honestly a little surprised. <laughs> home. I'm looking oh, he was mystified face. by the word, causing him to look off in the distance while the pony barbarian. Nomads don't have homes, do they? No, they do not. It doesn't matter. Everyone needs and wants will. Va- Everyone's needs and wants will vanish if the demons take over Erebor. We may worry about our future after the war, if we can. Saren let her a long breath. Amukiki turned back to him. Get your sword and meet me in the sparring circle. Gladiator left sharply. Saren looked at him as he walked away, insulted that he would give him an order and not a request. He clucked, shuffled his, shook his head, opened his mouth about to shout back a retort, and then closed it again. Finally got his sword and met Hamukiki in the sparring circle. Um, that, that was a euphemism. That was totally a euphemism. Why, why is your sword, why, that's not the sword I was... Get your dick out, son. <laughs> at the very least, Saren had hoped that he would be surprised to see that he showed up at all, but he wasn't. Hamukiki was just doing warm-ups and greeting him with no words. Just as wordlessly, they stood across from each other and prepared for a match. Because in the end, he was right. Saren needed this. Not only to take his mind off his thoughts, but to sharpen his skills. Even as a thief, he needed this. It wasn't about strength in battle or learning to dodge or parry. Saren needed the confidence and heart to face what was to come. It was almost as if Emukiki knew how much of that he lacked as he initiated round after round of sparring. Not stopping until the dead of night. Not until they were ready to collapse of thirst and exhaustion. This is... So homoerotic! <laughs> Just fucking kiss! Their thoughts remained and nothing was solved. They looked forlorn at each other and caught their breath. Saren began to ponder the distinction between obligation and desire. And if he wanted to continue to serve Loren, or even if he were wanted to remain at the Citadel... Hamukiki drank deeply from a bowl of water, then poured some on his fresh wounds. He's literally just pouring water on himself! <laughs> Instinctively, Saren stepped forward to heal him with his magic. He placed a hand on Hamukiki's arm, causing him to close his eyes. Before he could summon magic, the gladiator's hand was on top of his hand. The touch almost froze time. But, but it, it didn't. <laughs> but it did not. It, time remained moving as one would expect. And Amukiki pulled Saren's hand from him, off his body. Give me these scars. I want them. Saren parted his lips to question him. (laughs) Jesus. Uh, But all they managed to do was trade long looks. Amukiki's hand was coarse against his own, but it wasn't unpleasant. Saren's exhaustion was replaced by a deep burning in the pit of his stomach. Dude, you should eat something. Yeah, no... (laughs) I did, not something that Kambara gave you. Yeah. Kambara just eats ghost peppers nonstop. She doesn't actually eat them, she puts them in her mouth and just like teleports them away, which then she gives them to other people and is like, oh, it's very good, this is very good, just try it. And you're like, oh, what is it? What does it taste like? Oh, it tastes like a mistake. <laughs> Eventually, Kamukiki let it go of his hand and broke away in silence. What Amukiki really wanted from life seemed even more a mystery, but now one that Sarah needed to find out even more than or more than ever, because it wasn't completely fucking obvious. 